hi guys welcome back so in this video we'll be solving questions on the logarithm so this is our question one let's go and it says if log 2 is equal to x and log 3 is equal to y and log 7 is equal to z we should find in terms of x y and z the value of log 28 divided by 3 so let's break this down so we have log 28 divided by 3 let's try to simplify this so log 28 is the same thing as log 4 times 7 divided by 3. Now, if we use this log to open this bracket, we're not going to continue with multiplication and division signs. For instance, this will change to addition and division signs. So this is what it becomes. We have log 4 plus this multiplication become addition. Then we have log 7 and our division sign becomes what? Negative minus log 3. Now, we have values for log 2, log 3, and log 7, is it not? But here we have 4, 7, and 3. But there's a way we can bring this one down to log 2. So log 4 is the same as log 2 squared, is it not? Plus log 7 minus log 3. So these ones remain as they have. Log 2 squared is the same as, we can bring these two over to this side. So this one will become 2 log 2 plus log 7 minus log 3 okay now we can now substitute our value of x y and z into here so log 2 is x right log 7 is z and log 3 is y let me check if you are still in frame okay we can go we can go <clears throat> so this value here is the same as 2 multiplied by x so we have 2x plus this is just z minus y so where do we have 2x plus z minus y that is b okay question number two it says that given that log x sorry log 64 base x is equal to 3 evaluate x log 8 base 2 let's first of all start by simplifying this first expression to find our x okay so we have log 64 base x is equal to 3. Now to simplify this, the easy way is to use your base to raise this one. So 3 will become the power of x. So this one raises this one up. That's the rule, okay? So x will raise this one up. This one remains here. So we have 64 is equal to x raised to our 3. So whenever this base raises this value, it eliminates this log sign, okay? So now you can simplify this. Now I know that 64 is the same as 4 cubed, x cubed. If 3 cancels 3, my power, it means that our x is 4. Now that I've found my value of x, I can now substitute it here and simplify this value. So, x log 2 base m, log 8 base 2. So, x, which is now 4, I'll write as 4 log 2 base 8. Now, how do I simplify this? First, let me start by breaking down this 8. 8, I know, is the same as 2 raised to the power 3, is it not? So, now this becomes 4 log 2 cube base 2 okay so now three can come over here can it not so three comes over here and this one becomes four multiplied by three log two base two now whenever a log of a number and the same base sorry the number and the base are the same with the log in front of it this value is the same as one what i'm saying basically is log x base x is one log 10 base 10 is one log the number and the base are the same it means that the value is one so that means that we can easily change log two base two is equal to one so we're left with four times three times one which is two i hope you guys are able to understand that so our answer is c all right guys question number three it says that if log two base ten is m log three base ten is n find the value of log 24 base 10 in terms of m and n so that means that your answer should have m and n just like your options are here so now let's try to simplify this log 24 base 10 so we have log 24 base 10 first of all what what are the multiples of 24 so 24 can be written as 12 times 2 it can be written as 4 times 6 it can also be written as 8 times 3 so i'm going to use 8 times 3 to break this down so this is the same as log 8 times 3 base 10 okay so now if i break this down out i'm using the log to break it out you have log 8 base 10 plus log 3 base 10 right now log 8 can be written as log 2 cube base 10 plus 
log 3 is 10. Okay, so cube is the same as 8. I remember what I said earlier. 3 comes over here. So we have for this first value 3 log 2 base 10 plus log 3 base 10. Now we have log 2 and log 3 here, both in base 10. And log 2 base 10 is n, log 3 base 10 is n. So we can substitute these values here now. So this one becomes 3 multiplied by m plus this one is just n. So our final answer is just 3m plus n, which means our answer is a. So we have here that given that log 27 base 3 is equal to 2x plus 1, find the value of x. First, let's write this out. Log 27 base 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. Like I mentioned before, to eliminate this log sign, you use your base to raise the value that is on the other side of the equal to sign. Okay, so this becomes 27 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2x plus 1. Now we can... <clears throat> Now we can solve this like a normal indices problem, is it not? 27 is the same as 3 cubed is equal to 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1. 3 will cancel out 3, we equate our power since the base are the same. So we have 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. If we, um, if I bring 1 over here, I have 3 minus 1 is equal to 2x. 2 is equal to 2x, that means that x is equal to 1. And B is our answer. So um, this is question number five, and it's also our last question for today. I was only able to find five questions under this topic, so let's do it. It says, if log 10 to base 8 is equal to x, let's interpret that. So log 10 to base 8 is equal to x. It says we should now evaluate log 5 to base 8 in terms of x. So we asked to find log 5 to base 8, okay? So now let's try to break this one down. Log 10 to base 8 can be written as log 5 multiplied by 2 to base 8. Is it not? It's still equal to x. We can further simplify this one as log 5 to base 8 plus, okay, because of our multiplication sign here, we are expanding, we have plus log 2 to base 8 is equal to x, right? Now, this is the value that we are looking for here, if you can, if you can see it. So that means that if I move this value over here, I should have that log 5 to base 8 is the same as x minus log 2 to base 8. So I just put this one over here. So we've made this one the subject, right? So now what is this value? What is log 2 to base 8? Now let me, um, for the sake of solving this, let me call this one y. So it's like we're looking for what is x minus y. So now let us solve for log 2 to base 8, okay? So I'm calling this one y right now. Let me solve it here. So we have that log 2 to base 8 is equal to y. Sorry, I, I switched this. Log 2 to base 8. Okay? This 8 here can be written as 2 cube. Or before we do that, let's first of all raise the power. So we use the base here to raise this number. So we have 2 is equal to 8 raised to power 3y. Right? Sorry, 8 raised to power y. 8 raised to power y. This is the same thing as 2 raised to power 1. And I know that 8 is the same thing as 2 cube. So this is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3y. So this means that. Since my base are the same, I can equate my power. So I have that 1 is equal to 3y, is it not? So if I divide both sides by 3 here, I have that y is equal to 1 over 3. Now if I come and substitute this value, 1 over 3 here, okay? So I just took this one out, so go and solve it, and I'm bringing it back here. So I would have that log 5 base 8 is the same as x minus 1 over 3. Okay, so do we have that among the... Okay, we have c... Answer. Okay, so that's all for this video and I will see you in the next one where I'll be explaining, um, I'll be solving questions on that sorts.